Hello and a very warm welcome to the Andrew Eborn Show, where I'm delighted that I'm joined by my old chum, Jonathan Hansler. How are you, Jonathan? Um, well, I'm in my I'm in my thermals at the moment downstairs. In my I haven't really got up, but I, the wonderful world. I was supposed to be going away and uh, this weekend to 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 Rotterdam. For just for a weekend because I needed it and of course what happened yesterday everything went up you know it just was Europe was in a, a, a oh, disaster and now on Sunday it looks like Belgium has have got a full lockdown so maybe the best thing was I didn't go away but I've just lost a bit of money on the you know because I thought I was so my hotel and my train you know it's just unfortunate I mean I can get it back but I've just got to travel all the way over there again and you know on another time which is fine it's fine but it's just annoying well, it is annoying, isn't it? And I say that's that's the trouble in uncertain times. You're all over the yeah, you know, place. Yeah, I, I could be I could be out there having a lovely time and trying to get back, and I'm stuck and I can't. You know, and that's just not what I want to happen. No, so, um, so yeah, I'm um, I'm working on Sanders. A very no, that, that's what I was ch checking in about. I thought, that's, how's that going? Well, it's going great. I mean, it's a very tricky man to get right because his viral base levels are very difficult. And I, people say, don't worry about it. But, you know, I'm a perfectionist. I want to get it right. Now, my, my, um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But it's about, it's also getting the style of the man and getting the characteristics of the man. And it's, it's a real, it's a real hack at the old business, though. If lots of actors come along, people in the entertainment industry come along. Um, it's, um, he does have a go. Don't, you know, this is not for the faint hearted as I were in this industry. Well, fill, it, fill us in because what, what I love about you when you're preparing for roles, you immerse yourself in the character and you're, you're, um, it's all about that sort of, it totally takes over your life. So you learn all about the man and you do more research than anybody I yeah. know. Preparing yeah. for role. No, yes. I always do. And I, I always do. And he, he was an incredible man. He really was. Yeah, he died at the age of. He died at the age of 65, committed suicide um, and was very disillusioned with the whole of Hollywood. I mean, Hollywood, some of his best friends died. And and, and he talks about a battle in uh, 19, in because the play set on the set of Solomon and Sheba in Spain. So he's in this hot kind of um, trailer in the dusty deserts of this place. And he really doesn't want to be there, but he's earning money and that's the only thing. But it's like... and. It, well, Solomon and Sheba was notable because in the battles, about 12 horses got killed and people and the extras were being pulled off with literally um, in those days, it was very different. There wasn't health and safety like there is today. So horses were dying. You know, they were getting there was like a real battle, you know, except people what didn't have real. They weren't getting stabbed or anything like that. But everything else, the chariots they had, they were falling everywhere. People were getting crippled. It was horrendous. So that this all goes into it, all that side of things, you know, so it's got a. It's got a, a multi, multi-layered sort of levels to it. There's moments of real sadness, really hilarious moments with this, because he saw six psychiatrists. George did, right. um, you know, at a time when not many people were seeing psychiatrists, but he did, and um, you know, he talks about how Tyrone Power died on set and was replaced by Yul Brynner, who had who had people lighting his cigarettes for him. He had seven men members of a retinue, and Sanders said, "I'm not sure what five of them actually did." But, um, you know, apart from lighting his cigarettes. Oh, so, where is it? so it sounds like they had a wonderful sense of humour, but like and a lot of the roles that you play, there, there, there's a pattern here, isn't there? They're always sort of tortured souls. Yeah, there is. Um, I think most these days I'm a little bit happier because I've given up booze and that's a real, you know, unfortunately, most of the people I've played are like um, Sanders. Um, was towards the end of his life was an alcoholic you know it's tragic and peter cook as well an alcoholic you know and um that's where i was going so it's no 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 accident that i'm very good at playing those kind of people because i understand exactly where they're going and luckily i've taken myself off that road well, so but, yeah, um, i celebrated six and a half years dry with you uh, uh, a few weeks ago and uh he's still yeah. Uh, in spite of lockdown, coping incredibly well. And the other thing that popped up on social media, because they always do this on Facebook, they have your, your memories, share your memories. And we had canned laughter, the second edition, at the Bloomsbury Ballroom in October. We must get back to it, Andrew, you know. And I mean, I'm wondering if, I don't know, we can raise something for this show, because it's all about mental health and the film industry, for God's sake. It's all about Hollywood and how, how incredibly 
how incredibly tough it is, how, um, how people are, are maligned just because they want money, how money is all and people are nothing. And he said, you know, it, it's, it, you know, and it, it's, I mean, there was a guy called Laird Krigar who took his own life, literally dieted himself away because he didn't look like a star. And he looked like a fiend. They put him in a fiend in every film and he just ended up going mad and, 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 and literally dieted his life away in a hospital. You know, it goes into Marilyn Monroe, how incredibly frail, not frail, but insecure, insecure she was, and yet nobody was helping her. You know, and it's that sort of thing that Sanders goes into a lot of. So it's got lots of mental health aspects, especially in this industry. So I'm wondering if Canned Laughter could do something for it no, or something. At the moment, we're funding it ourselves. I tried to put a fun thing, but I didn't get very much response. But but I, at the moment, we're funding it ourselves. Um, well, because we've it's been one joined that's now, as you can see, by uh, Modern Romance, my big chum. Fantastic. Lovely to see you, Andy. Welcome on to the show. Can you oh, oh. So, so this is with um, Andy Karaku, who, who's the, the main man behind Modern Romance. I know we went along to see them as well, Jonathan. He's he's joined us. He'll be plugging in uh, any minute here. But just while he plugs in, I mean, you're right. The more we can talk about mental health, which is what we've been talking about all along. Exactly. exactly. Bear with me while I'm just going to take my, my, I'm just going to my kitchen. One second. I'm with you. Carry on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The more we can yeah. sort that out and, and, and put that as part of the narrative, uh, the better. Yeah. We're going to, to that Absolutely. Out. Absolutely. You know, and, and, and the more we focus on that side of things, you know, the better things are for people. Um, you know, there's... Um, by the way, I know Andy from a long, long time oh, ago. Andy. Hello, Andy. Can you hear us now? Oh, we can't hear you. For some reason, he's still muted. Nobody wants to be... Well, tell him. I'm going to have to cut off short in a moment, because okay. I've just got to... But, but, but Andrew, um, I knew Andy because many, many years ago, I organised for Bors at the time what was Dorset Institute Higher, Ed Higher Education. I organised the, um, well, I co-organised the Entertainment Entertainment. Ah. And guess who played Modern Romance. Ah, is that right? So I don't know if I knew Andy directly, but I certainly knew of him. Uh, and I, we, we were the guys that, that put them on. At, I think it was the Winter Gardens in Bournemouth, as far as I can recall. It's a long, long time ago now. Winter Gardens. But, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, this is what we love. We love re re reuniting people. Andy has been silenced for the first time ever in his life. Uh, Jonathan, we're going to let you go, um, which is... Hey, Andrew, well, uh, Sanders is happening from the 14th to 23rd. It's, uh, we're re rewriting the title. We've got the, we've got the permission from the press, the publishers, which is Dean Street Press, who publishes biography. Um, uh, that's wonderful. And Michael Kingsbury is putting it on. So lucky, the great thing is I'm not having to put money into actually hiring the theatre. It's really trying to get the props, get all the set together, get a set designer, and it's going to cost, you know, a bit, a fair bit. But hopefully, uh, we might get a, we might get something from the arts council or something like that. But I'd like, I'm trying to get charities involved, so maybe Canned Laughter could do something with it in association with Canned Laughter or something. Get the word out on, on that sort of basis. So fantastic for that sort of stuff. Uh, and the last word to you, Andy. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay, always enjoy. You, <laughs> We're going to catch gonna, you later, you Andrew. See you later. Much Bye. love, my friend. Much Bye. love. Bye. Bye. -bye. Wonderful. Well, we're here with wonderful sound of modern romance. I say the sound of modern romance, but uh, we can't hear Andy at all. Can you, can you hear anything, Andy? You can hear me, but we can't hear you. So what we'll do, this is like a little taste. You can do your, what I want you to do to play out this particular episode where we talk to Jonathan, you can do your best Marcel Marceau impersonation. This is Andy giving a little flavour of what he's going to do when he comes on and we can hear him. Marcel Marceau, it's over to you. Go for it, Andy. And on that very good note, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.